You are listening to High Score 510, where sports and comedy regain some culture. He got hit, he got taken to the ground hard by Ben Jarvis Mingo. Ben Jarvis? Whatever the hell his name is. No, no, no. That you can't do a magic. This magic no, you can't do a magic moment when a brother when when somebody ignorant parents gonna name him Ben Jarvis or Ben Carvius or whatever the hell his name is. Man, What's his real name? Right now, she said so many bad, wrong variations of the nigga's name. What's his real name? I'll tell you what his name is. I remember what his name is. It is Barkevius Then You can't match moment off of a name that just that's stupid. <laughs> No, okay, on, that doesn't sound. It's a good thing I got the speaker, right? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, Aaron, you get this. This magic moment. You can't even do that, man. Not not when his first name is Ben Carvis Barcadius. It's a magic moment because you love magic. You love the Lakers, so you get a magic moment because you know how. Nah. You know this. Nah, so, nah, sometimes when magic's talk ignorance because this AIDS is fucking with them. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here yet. <laughs> Darius, tight schedule. Darius, hey. <laughs> Bruh, I think we need to find, we, you know, we need to first, to get Darius here, we need the loot, the warrant. And what's the last thing they always had? What? Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Remember the little game show? No, where, no, I, I played, so, I played the, the loot, game. I never played the The warrant. They had the little acapella group I that played the game, there, but I never cool did that. Uh, never saw the show. Played the game when I was young. Oh, I, I know what it is. We need the loot, the warrant, and the blunt, and we'll get a Darius here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to get a blunt. You need to get a Darius or Kevin. One of those brothers that work at UPS, they're like bloodhounds when it comes to sniff out weed inside. They, yeah. They sniff out weed inside a package so quickly. <laughs> the people that work at UPS, hey man, I think they I, need they need to get them on the DEA. I think I think, but the, you gotta let them go home with the weed though. They need to have more state advisories at UPS building saying this building has used in the building of this of this building, there's been used no materials that will give you X-ray vision. <laughs> He's like, they some call it cancer, we call it X-ray vision, nigga. <laughs> Somehow you can pick out all the weed that come and <laughs> iPhones that come through here. Somehow. Uh, that they need to start putting guarantee, guarantee your package if it has weed or an iPhone will be empty by the time it gets to its spot. My cushy punch started set in. Oh, you took a cushy punch? Cushy punch. Cushy punch sponsorship. Hey, go by Call of Duty with, since cushy punch is in your system. I might have to. I'm going to go do that after we record. Yeah, yeah. man. The new Call of Duty came out, man. How, how is it so far? Uh, it's great until you find some dude that uh, came out on Friday. Came out Thursday night. I only played one and a half game because it is a hundred and something megabytes to download and that's with the disc I got the disc but the craziest thing just to make it real quick is how the hell is some guy got a diamond gun that means he had to get every gun gold in that class yeah. on Sunday morning <laughs> 7 30 in the morning some dude got a diamond gun the game has been out for 37 hours <laughs> he got a diamond gun he, so you talking about shared like uh <laughs> Share Netflix passwords. I'm pretty sure people were sharing like Call of Duty like logins. You know, it's it's also it's fine. He, he was good though. Double XP probably. There was right? no double XP yet. Oh. That's the craziest thing about it. No what? double anything. So he's probably <laughs> really good and has been just putting in. What do you? My coach also always used to say, you got to put in the sweat equity. And that, that brother put in the swag out with it. His thumbs, it. his thumbs got their own headbands. <laughs> Come on, dude, they put in work. His, they are. Hey, hey man, his thumbs got six packs. He, he reminds me of one of those guys that when Madden came out, you talk to him on Wednesday, and they're like, uh, "Oh man, I just finished my first season." It's like, wait, Madden came out on Tuesday. <laughs> How the hell you finished a season? When else have you been like Wednesday morning? You finished a season? Man, that sounds almost as hard as saying "nigga" 
a million times <laughs> over and over. A million times in what was it? One minute? A hundred million times. A hundred million times in a life? What were you <laughs> Who claimed that again? Kurt Schilling's though. Kurt Schilling Kurt said, Schilling. yeah. I heard he said. Shout out to Kurt Schilling sponsorship. What did he say? He said he, he does some black. He said a former black pair of his said it a hundred million times. He said hundred. He said yeah, hundred million times. I've heard that a hundred million times playing baseball with black like, teammates. What you only had like maybe three black teammates your whole life, so they would have to be nonstop saying that for him to hear. Because <laughs> yeah. this Arizona team only had Tony Womack on it that was black, I remember. Right. I don't. Know. His Philly team had like nobody. He had Pedro Martinez, didn't he? Then he had your Pedro. No, I don't know. He didn't have no Pedro Martinez. <laughs> he's he's only word he can pick out of Pedro's conversation is like, Pedro, I swear he said Pedro. <laughs> he probably, Pedro Martinez is probably talking about the black socks. Can you pass me those Negro socks, please? He's like, he's like, like, he said, said the N word. He's like, they say the N word all the time. They say the N word, man. We were watching the Raider game. They didn't know the names of the team. They were trying to tell me which team had the ball, and they kept saying the N word. <laughs> Who's on the back? Negrito. <laughs> no, I'm like, dang, man, all them black folks. <laughs> dang, these guys hit. I was thinking, dang, these these, these Latin characters are were racist. They more racist than the niggas I play. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not that racist. <laughs> Maybe I'm not that racist. I'm Kurt Schiller. Kurt Drink Schiller. milk. Brandon Brandon got what's the what used to be the closest thing to a Make America Great hat in the nineties. Yeah, which is a Red Sox hat. Boston Red right Sox hat, right? Or that, he's wearing a Boston Red Sox right now with his. Uh, was it uh, Tony Tony the Jet uh, Sanchez from uh, what uh, Sandlot shoes on? His, he got uh, his red. He got his red ring tip flyers <laughs> matching with the khakis. Red. Oh, really? Look at Saucy. Hey, Brandon, you looking? And, and, and got his golden child necklace on. Yeah, you look like the Boston version of Doughboy from Boys in the Hood. Yeah, you look like if Doughboy went with Eddie Murphy to try to get the knife in the paw. No, I look like a, a blood member with two parents. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Back in the day, in the eighties, man, all of them they were respectful. They, they were the most respectful gangsters you ever met. Like you said, a blood, <laughs> crip, blood, a crip with two parents were very respectful. They never said anything bad around you. They never cursed around adults, kids, nothing. At nighttime is when they did all they thug. When you turn fifteen, you you wide open for <laughs> for extermination. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, yeah. Their pants would be hanging below their ass, but they were respectful. They helped my mom uh, bring some stuff in the house once. Could she say no? Before we get to starting the show, y'all, this is another one of Jared's venting moments. But it's a hard <laughs> one. It's hard to vent right now because the Cowboys currently are winning their game. It's Sunday afternoon. The Cowboys are up right now in the Jaguars. But you want to vent about last week, right? Last week, the Cowboys, in overtime, you score a touchdown, you win, you go home. You kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance and they get to get the ball and all they got to do is get a field goal, right? Cowboys fourth and one at the Texans 45 or something like that. Overthrew him, man. Had him. Overthrew him. Sorry, I swear. See, you just did the shit. I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. That's the rule for being a That's Jerry K. Started yelling at everybody. I'm about talking about things that's not happening on the podcast. <laughs> all right, all right, that's my bad. So, so as you guys know, we were watching this. We were watching football typically when we record the show, and so one thing that we're trying to work on is not commenting on the what we're seeing on the TV because it usually doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about. So we're trying to cut that out, and I brought it up. So I, that was just me doing a subconscious example to you guys of like what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, you sound like the CEO of Papa John's right now. I, mean, I said the N word. To let them know how far not to go. You see how uncomfortable this, this feels when a white man screaming, "Nigga, don't do that," because it makes other people feel uncomfortable. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all see. Y'all see what you feeling? That's what you gonna make other people feel. So don't do that. Back to what I was saying about the Cowboys. Fourth and one. Texans 45 yard line uh, inside the 45 it's a long one yard they say you know it was, it, it was like one and a half yards it was, it was almost as close to two yards as it was to one yard it was going to be a long yard but you play to win the game you don't play to hope to punt them down there and hope your D can make a play your defense the entire game was not stopping them between the 20s they were getting from 20 to 20 real easily you know what I'm saying they had to earn it they were getting hit but they were getting down the field when they got inside the 20 that's when the Cowboys D played his best ball you are about to punt them the ball. The numbers say they're going to be able to get to field goal range because they've been able to do it consistently throughout the game. 
your defense has made some great plays throughout the game to stop them on fourth downs when they decide to go for it instead of just getting points. And a couple times you held them to field goals. You can't depend on them to hold them to a field goal. It's overtime. You get that one yard. You either get it there or you say, you know what, hey, they only got to get 30 yards to get in the field goal range versus 60, which hasn't really made a difference because time is – there's not a time constraint right now. They're going to get that yards. Anyways, my Cutty Corner shout-out goes to – just kidding, my Cutty Corner shout-out. But that was definitely a, a really difficult uh, thing to watch. And so I was, I was really happy the week before where I was like, the Cowboys are back this past week. I'm back to saying the Cowboys are not back. But right now, the Cowboys are winning, so they <laughs> might be back. Yeah, you know, I'm not even talking about the Cowboys right now. Because three, <laughs> three teams from their division are not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, Blake yeah, We don't know who it's going to be. You see that division. Was that Blake Jarron that dropped that ball? It was Blake Jarron, even though we're not supposed to be talking about what's on screen. <laughs> it was Blake Jarron that dropped it. Okay. Y'all need to cut Blake Jarwin. <laughs> no, we need to cut Kanye West. That's who. That Kanye is. West might get cut. <laughs> we we right, need to start the show before show. we start getting it. All right, all right, hold on. Is Darius coming? <laughs> hey, drink booty sweat, baby. Hey, 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 drink. Hey, drink booty sweat, baby. These things are One knee is for the team, two knees is for Jesus. Nigga. Here we go. Jesus Christ, he's tiny. I'm a bigger chunk of corn in my crap. Usually you warm up yourself and your voice, but now you warm it up sound bites? How do you warm up a sound bite? Oh, I didn't get to use it last week, really. It's, still, it's an old iPad. It's like a, it's like a 76, 76 Oh, channel. dude, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, no, you started the show. Like, this is the longest start to show ever. All right, all right, we get to eight. Brandon, give me a letter, baby. Give me a letter, Brandon. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm an oh. energetic. Ooh, wait. <laughs> Let's go with C. Ooh. C. He interject. He interject. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Couches, cats, and canaries. What? What? Oh. Clairvoyant cowboys catching cases. Ooh. Ooh. Conscious chipmunkin' coons cutting a rug every day at Coon. Jared's the only person I know to use Coon for C's and K's. How can, <laughs> how can you, when you choose a letter, it works for both? Hey, man. Hey, we should start a new show. Bomani Jones got his own show. I was thinking about starting my own called, instead of High Noon, High Coon. Come on. What you think about that, y'all? I can get a Pablo Torre. Uh, Darius is half Filipino now. He can be Pablo Torre for me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to ESPN sponsorship. <laughs> Shout out to ESPN. We got six people that work here. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I ain't see, like, Stephen A's don't get up now. Like, almost every morning. <laughs> no, they they realize how much money they they had to pay Stephen A. They're yeah. like, we gonna pay you this. Man, he got gonna be on podcast. Podcast. <laughs> yeah, he, got, he even got his own podcast. Yeah. That they was. I was like, wait, wait, wait. So after he does get up, first take, and then he has a podcast that's being shown on TV too. I'm like, he in there by himself. By then he called because he ain't got no energy like. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think that <laughs> Stephen A. Working harder than the Jamaicans. Last one. <clears throat> you had done enough? Chip, chip, Chippewa. Cootie, coot, coo. Cutting down fences with my nigga, Kunye, Coon. Can we start the show, please? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are listening to High Score 510 Podcast. You can find us on the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube, and our High Score 510 dot com page check us out also for most of our audio content on spotify sure man i think jerry aaron's gotta go feed his time got you right now i know what the fuck is <laughs> what's the dryer man aaron got a dry clothes so I, that's what happened when you move the time up three hours a aaron got dry clothes aaron, aaron's aaron's washing the dryer do a little digi pit right it's like it's like round it's got a little i feel like i do see like a little animal come out there and do a little jabwaki egyptian dance here and there <laughs> hey, I'm not eating because I already, you know, we're doing the show right after lunchtime. So, yeah, don't worry about me eating. Uh, 
<laughs> hey man, this is a this is a wild day. We haven't met this early in a while. It's right. been it's been it's been some time. Anyways, we are here with uh, this is Aaron Grayson the third, aka AG Smooth Triples, AG Triple O, coming at you like Joey Tribbiani in two thousand five at the Friends in it when they all got married and had kids and moved out and he was by himself. Who that call my name? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, nobody was sure, sure nobody called mine because everybody act like uh, Aaron Grayson don't exist until Sunday podcast time. Who that call my name? <laughs> uh, Must have been the dog. That's hilarious. Uh, we are also here with this is Brandon, aka Taco Pablo, just trying not to catch one of Deontay Wilder fastballs to the face. <laughs> We must use these tools that the great God has given us to fight in it. A whip, a noose, a knife. <laughs> that was the wrong one, wasn't it? <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Absolutely. It was the wrong one because I showed <laughs> you. you That's what I was wondering. And he still went to that. Like, Brandon requested a sound bite. <laughs> oh I, 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 I had it ready on my phone. He's like, nah, I got this. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got this. <laughs> it's still playing. <laughs> Oh, here it is, here it is. Sorry, y'all, that was, that was the wrong inherited story. Steve Jobs' first iPad, the real one. <laughs> the one he made in this house in 1995. No, no, it's not even an iPad, it's called a tablet. He's like, this is a nook. It's a palm. It's a Kindle. <laughs> no, it was an Apple Newton. That was the first one. Was the first one, yeah. Yeah, you know, this, this is that fake iPad they used to get on the, when you got like the supersized kids meal at McDonald's. Come on. All right, here we go. Ready to sell on eBay, guys. Sold here's inside. here's Brandon's racist ass sound bite. Uh oh, this, hold on. <laughs> Need to upgrade to the iPhone 10 as well. What the hell? Okay, that's the wrong one. Crickets, crickets, <laughs> crickets. Chirp, 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 chirp. You know what? Let's just move on. That'll be my. Nah, I, have, I have my sound bite ready. Not okay, for you went away from it. <laughs> I got it ready for next week. What is going on? Oh, the volume on my phone was turned all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> you should make that a sound bite. Oh, the volume was turned down. <laughs> Cushy Punch sponsorship. <laughs> All right, ready, ready. I'm, I'm going to like go. start a petition. <laughs> not start, not smoke until the show starts. <laughs> so I can do introductions. You can smoke all you want. <laughs> Talk about Jared. Uh, all right, here we go. Ready, here we go. Anyway, I'm learning about Egypt. A bunch of fucking liars in Egypt. I just want to point that out. It's liars. All of them fucking liars. I'm supposed to believe 4,000 years ago, you guys built the pyramids, right? And then for the next 4,000 years, you built jack shit? Not happening. Not happening. You built the greatest thing ever created by human beings 4,000 years ago. And then for the next 4,000 years, the best thing that you can create is cotton sheets. <laughs> Yo, Brandon, pour me a brew. <laughs> Aaron over here look like Stone Cold Steve Austin right now. <laughs> he misses some natty lights. <laughs> and my name is Jared, aka DJ Art, with two T's for a double dose of that tink, but the D is silent, so it's just Jart. Man, why are you at work and why y'all at the grocery store or why y'all at church? You need to be in tune with your vagina and the dick and the nuts that you done committed this right here to because a lot of the men have thrown away any type of verification <laughs> to prove that they dick belong to you. I don't know. Jared's really excited about that sound bite. I don't know why. I didn't know what I'm more excited. Like. <laughs> it is. It is. I get the this, old this is pretty, it's pretty light. We yeah. drinking. Uh, we're sponsored by Animal IPA, the Four, Four Point. Point Brewing Company. We got Animal IPA, and Aaron is drinking what? The KSA Kolsch style ale. Yeah. KSA. We sipping on a couple beers, having a good time. Sponsored by Cushy Punch and uh, whatever this thing is. Uh, it's, it's also at the Jetty Extracts. Oh yeah, the Jetty Extracts. Thank you, Jetty Extracts. 
for uh, your delightful materials. They are great, um, but we did pay for them, so we, we, we'll give bad reviews if they're not good, so just remember that. <laughs> Anyways, if y'all want to sponsor us, we'll say all the good things you want. Yeah. Cause I'll sell out. I'll sell out like Kanye. You said Kanye sold out. I said he didn't get it. Like usually when you sell out, you gain something. Like, but I don't even think he sold out. I think he's crazy. I think he might be crazy. He's always mad. We'll, we'll talk more about Kanye later. Do we want to just get right into Kanye? No, but Should we just leave with Kanye? I want. I want to get into. We can that. leave with Kanye. I, I hung out with college else. friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know. It was another group of friends that uh, forgot about me until every now and then. No, just kidding. I was just me being a, me just venting. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> we, hey, we have we have hey, diaries, hey, diaries. Hey, we have Aaron's. I uh, love that fall time Aaron wants to hang out. Summertime Aaron, man. I'm going to get pedicures my my girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron so got to because Aaron, <laughs> no one else is calling Aaron. You they the only you ones calling. Pedicures, bro. They the only one. Calling. <laughs> I only this have nigga, one pedicure. This nigga had pedicures. And Aaron, you had girls. two pedicures at least because you did, the second one you had the picket fence painted on your goddamn. That was a manicure. <laughs> See, that's the difference between men and women. Oh, pedicure, manicure. Sorry. Uh, no, my thing is, like I said, they the only one calling me on Saturday. I ain't had a brunch. I ain't had nothing. Took a day off. No one hit me up for brunch. No one did anything. Brandon, don't even say Nobody Brandon. Brandon, knows. this is about Let me tell you about this. No, I, I didn't tell Brandon because every time I call Brandon, you know, I always have this thing. If someone called me, I try to call within 24 hours. Brandon's rule is to call within 48, and it's usually at that 48. <laughs> Here's another thing. When Brandon, Brandon texts us about, are we recording something about recording? I need this I'll record. I text him back. Less than 15 minutes after that. I think it might have been nine minutes. And then it was like crickets, crickets, crickets. Brandon texts back a day later, 24 hours late. It's like, wait, hold on. You just text. How come you didn't answer my text? Nah, I asked you a question see, in the text. What you got to realize is Brandon ain't using his burner phone. He's like, they going to trace my location if, I, if I'm on this thing for more than 30 seconds at a time. Shout out to the <laughs> voice. I answered Brandon's question in the text. That's the craziest thing about it. <laughs> and I asked the question. Look, look, here it is. No, no, Brandon, you sometimes do. Yo, let's record early tomorrow. I said, I'm down. What time? That was uh, yesterday at 448. Brandon responds. That's correct. Two hours later, like one. Now I responded right away. Your phone is still in your hand. What do you do? So you texted this phone, phone into a different room? That's basically what happened. Like, oh shit. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to create a template to get to you, Adarius, Ed, Marshawn now, everybody who. No, because Marshawn, he's the older generation. He can still do whatever the hell he want to do. All the people, these millennials who are now having kids, and the template is to basically fill out what time to text you, how long you take to text back. <laughs> Uh, when will we ever hang out again? What I'm allowed to say when I'm hanging out with you and your woman and not allowed to say? What stories I could bring up? Which girlfriend you never told them about? But <laughs> who not to bring up a story we can't tell no matter what. Like, like I told my wife, I only slept with three people before I met her. <laughs> I didn't tell her that those three was before the, the night before. <laughs> I, I left that all to my hookers in Vegas. So tell me, what do we have to do, Brandon? No, no here, so here's how it started. So mm. I hope y'all remember this text. I said, hey guys, can y'all stop using the N-word in the first four four words of all y'all text? <laughs> <laughs> That's where it started, because I had to disable all text notifications. Wait, wait, wait. Because I'll be at work, and I'll be like, oh, let me see what time it is. I hear, nigga. Look at this. Are you having your phone read out loud what it says? I know. No, like, say it out loud. You, you got, got it on voice it? You got these little notifications. Yeah, I got yeah. it right there. I had to disable all that shit. That's why like, I don't like it. It doesn't even show me. Unless I look at my phone, look for messages. I don't see the text. That's why I don't let kids use my phone, Brandon. <laughs> Wait, if I'm at work, I'm like, oh, what time it is? I hear Wait, Nick. I remember that then. <laughs> you don't hear it. Jerry, it was Jerry arguing with the like, who, a Darius or something when that happened? Nah. It was Jerry arguing with somebody. Right. Because it was a lot of No, I'm um, like, like, I'm sitting at work. Then no, I'll, 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 I'll admit this. I'll admit this. There was a spurt there where I was sending a lot of articles, and typically each text I sent started with some variation of this nigga. Started with the way I used to start Ed morning off. I used to start Ed morning off back in the day like that. <laughs> this nigga's tripping. I can't believe this nigga. How crazy you gotta be to be a nigga like this? Most people start off with a cup of coffee. I started oh. off calling Ed the N word. Hey man, we gotta stop. Yeah, that was that was good for him. <laughs>
And all I really said, it's like, hey, in the first five words, don't use that. <laughs> and then it's just like, okay. And, and then, then it's just, just there's no response. Just <laughs> extra, extra words. <laughs> 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 You just need to stop being so sensitive about seeing the N-word on your screen. I'm worried about everybody else who sees my phone. This why, is the big ass screen I got. Adira, Adira can't no. read yet. You should be fine. Hey, hey, hey. All our fans out there, thank you for being avid listeners. I just want to let y'all know, Brandon is 6'5". So he got to be holding his phone down by his nuts if he's worried about <laughs> everyone else seeing his phone. This motherfucker is a tall motherfucker. So if he wants to, he just pull that shit up, put it by his head. It's already like six feet two off the ground. Like, I can't see what he's reading. Now, the exact story, I'm sitting in a meeting with everybody, and everybody's like, oh, hey, how much time we got left? I pull out my phone, and I see Jared, this nigga here. I see, <laughs> I see it's 147. <laughs> Under that new message, this nigga here. I was like, you know, this phone <laughs> down. No, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> That's it. So. I mean, you need to turn the notification back on, Brandon, because sometimes when we text to Brandon, we're like, Brandon's a punctual dude. Brandon, like, Brandon, you become the opposite of punctual when yeah. it comes to communication. There has been a change in the tide, Brandon. You definitely are now the one who we text. I might text you something specifically to you. I might even just send you a text with off the stream, and it like, would be like 36-hour wait window. You got, you made you worse than Comcast. Trying to like, man, you got, you got, you got, <laughs> the Comcast is worse than that. Now they don't even come by and pick up your stuff no more. Brandon's like, Brandon, Brandon's like, you need to use your drop it off to this, mm-hmm. this, this call center. Brandon's wait wait window is one minute to 36 hours. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, <laughs> even is he gonna come? What's he gonna text? I don't know. I don't know, but you got up to one minute to thirty six hours. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll try and stop that. We also we also do on a new initiative here on the show because we are progressive here at High, high School Five One We are trying to eliminate the N word um, from being used frivolously or excessively outside the context of that last conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, outside the context of those kind of conversations. But y'all know you, my niggas, right? John Jones reinstated <coughs> about to make his comeback um, I kind of feel like after like Mark McGuire got popped for steroids he came back I feel like is he still good is he kind of is he going to be slower is he going to tear a ligament because that's the kind of shit that happens when you uh we fuck with that HGH and cocaine at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what did he get suspended for? He got suspended first for that car accident where he hit and run up like a pregnant woman that had cocaine possession damn, damn, in damn. his system. There's, there's, there's nothing out there to say so, we should welcome him back at that. But point. then that was yeah that was that thing and then and then he got uh, pegged uh, after beating Cormier um, for having some amounts of. Uh, a steroid or a steroid uh, masking agent in the system. So, he got popped from, it was like a two year or a year. It's been a while since he's fought. I think that's an interesting concept though. It's like, for you to believe in somebody, for you to know the quality, you need a consistent like interval of experience of that, right? So that's, that's, that, there's that. But also just the belief in, in general society of somebody, like wh- whether people are like, on your side, like the whole idea of like, you know, the Caesar, you know, uh, Joaquin Phoenix putting his thumbs up or thumbs down, you yeah. know, win, win, win the crowd. It's like you also have to have a consistent uh, exposure that is like a really high level exposure nowadays with technology and media being so 24 hours and so fast as to recycle and move to the next thing. So I think it's really in- interesting, but I think he still, he still has to prove it, but uh, I still think he's the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. I think he'll beat Gustafsson. Um, this is a chance for him to lose Augustuson since he hasn't fought in so long. But then again, like, really, fighters fight, like, every, like, four to six months if they're fighting a lot, right? Unless you're lower tier and you're fighting, like, every, like, other month. You know, you know, injuries. Gotten, has not gotten into any fights. In I feel like he's, 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 he's sparred. He's done enough sparring. He's probably done enough training. Like, I don't think he's going to be slow to the game of, like, what it means to, to like, be in the cage with somebody. I think what it's going to be is <clears throat> his preparation for the event. The whole, you know, media thing, preparation, that whole, that, that whole experience and that, that whole uh, show is, is a whole nother, a whole nother level to what you have to prepare for and be ready for other than just like a daily spark. So I think he'll be good listen though. Um, I don't think uh, the first fight was as close as everyone made it. It was close, but I feel like he beat Gustafson pretty handily at the end. And uh, I think he's probably learned from that. But Gustafson does present him with challenges with his length. I think it'll be a cool fight. 
But John Jones is back, baby. Pound for pound, best fighter. They talking about he should fight Brock Lesnar at heavyweight. Wait, Brock Lesnar still fight? <laughs> Brock, wait, was that the all steroid fight? Brock says, I mean, yeah. I mean, last time they had to give him a reception because he was on steroids. How are you gonna fight? <laughs> the best fighter I think who can beat John Jones is a fighter that's either just super big and can out muscle him. But John Jones is, is has proven to be pretty slick. Um, but the other thing is, uh, John Jones also fought guys that were like smaller than him with his length. He could probably walk around a heavyweight pretty easily, but he, he lean, he's a lean, wiry guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think John Jones has to worry about somebody who has better and quicker striking than him that can counterpunch him. Um, that's the one thing he has to worry about. But he's usually pretty good about not making that, not making it like a stand-up boxing game. It's kind of a mixed martial arts box fighting game where there's mm-hmm. elbows, there's jabs, there's leg kicks, you know, front front side kicks. That kind of shit just make you have to like he just works you up and down and just find little weaknesses. And that's why I think he's the best because I'm he's the fighter that I've always seen take advantage of whatever thing that is there. He's not just a one dimensional like I'm gonna I'm gonna grapple you. I'm not gonna he's not really a knockout artist with his hands and he doesn't just rely on his elbows. But once he gets in there, he's pretty lethal with those elbows and shit. So I don't know. He's just he's 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 always been a morphing fighter. So I think he'll 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 bode well he'll bode well for him. I think a lot of that party and lifestyle, he's gonna definitely gonna catch up with him at some point. Yeah, maybe not this fight, but definitely in the near future. Hey, they won't catch up as long as they put Carmine on the schedule. For some reason, they could beat that midget. <laughs> hey, he knocked out Cipe though. Carmine knocked the shit. No, Carmine great against everybody except John Jones. I think well, John Jones just knows that's his kryptonite. Yeah, everyone. And, and <clears throat> we're looking for John. Carmine could take a punch from everybody except John Jones. We're looking for John Jones kryptonite, but his nose might have found it first. <laughs> John Jones' kryptonite. We know what his kryptonite is. <laughs> Societal rules. It's that white girl. <laughs> Societal rules. It's John Jones' kryptonite. Hey, birth of a nation. They were talking about John Jones. Watch out for John Jones. Be trying to sniff up all up on your white ladies. Uh, what else we had? Deontay Wilder knocking somebody out who wasn't really... <laughs> no, no, no. He, he was just punching a mascot. Little, <laughs> With the person how, how is he supposed to know that there's a person inside the mascot that's jumping around, oh. that's jumping around waving? How is he supposed to know it's a person inside? <laughs> so he's like, so <laughs> inside <laughs> waving. Stop it on oh. command. So the other what show is he on? He's a boxer. You don't <laughs> pay him to think. Do you think maybe he got confused? He's like, man, I was just like on ESPN Japan, and you know they got all kinds of robotic shit, and then all of a sudden, and I'm on a flight, red, red eye, and I'm on this ESPN Deportes Spanish channel. And I just got confused. I thought they had another robot uh, animal out there. <laughs> what? The they, had, they had a robot that walked on the stage. <laughs> stopped when he started said, doing waves. Started jumping, doing jumping jumps. Maybe he thought he was just dreaming it. And he just made it to a live action version of Fortnite. <laughs> and Deontay Wilder punched this dude. Like, I don't know if the lawsuit's yeah. already been filed. It's <laughs> might even take a couple days. Uh, my this gonna, could catch gonna be a protocol. Big, <laughs> this is going to be a big settlement out of court. His lawyer is already working on man. This is going to uh, open, up, open up the bank. <laughs> we might have to move up the fight. You ain't going to get to fight. Uh, what's that British dude? You ain't going to get to fight. Joshua Andrew, Joshua. We need you to fight somebody else real quick because we got to get a quick. We got to get some money. Here's the thing. The show's at fault because they brought him on the show and they told him to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of that fault. Yeah. But don't forget the show by It's Disney. Disney got enough lawyers. It's, it's yeah. ESPN. You know, they might just take care and say, you know what, Deontay, like, you make a sweet deal with us later on. We're going to pay this dude out so you don't have to worry about any personal civil lawsuits. It is Disney. They ain't going to pay nothing out. Deontay, you will make sure your fight don't show up. You you can't even get a BET sanction. No, what they're going to do is, no, no, see, what what they're smart. They'll pay that yourself. No, no, they'll be like, we'll take care of this lawsuit that this dude's trying to have on you. (laughs) And you give us the rights to one or two fights at this, you know, at some crazy, not a crazy deal, but a deal that's, that's cheaper or equal to a competitor that they can get like one of his main fights as like a premium heavyweight, maybe get a title fight. And that's how they get ESPN boxing back, you know, moving a little bit. Well, especially since HBO dropped boxing. I know, so there's deals to be made. There's deals, there's to, be deals made. to be made. Dude. And, this, and one thing Disney know how to do is make money. That's it's why Disney. they fired everybody from ESPN. Yeah, if Disney, <laughs> if Disney and ESPN. They're like, hey, hold on. We can make more money if we just have this slave, li- this, this, this slave <laughs> with the hairline on the back of his head, just post through. everything. Who is that nigga uh, uh, on that leg? <laughs> Stephen A. Smith is. Dude, he got sucked. <laughs> the, dude, his reaction though, Deontay Wilder stood over and was like, <laughs> and then like they're like a, a about face turn, like he's in the military, or he's in part of the Temptations. He, he did the Temptations military turn. He's like, whoo. Yeah. And it started walking off. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Dun, dun, dun. Exactly. I 
man, I feel like yeah, he's he, boxing. He's never, he's never have to wear uh, another uh, costume again. <laughs> no, no, he's oh, never. Hopefully, that dude's all right. Did he break his jaw? Or supposedly they to? reported that he broke his jaw, but I haven't seen anything that's come out and fully confirmed it. So we'll okay. see. Could be just gossip. All right. So, so something else that happened. Y'all were talking about this before the show. What else happened? So uh, somebody deleted a pro gamers. 2K player? Oh, <laughs> or my yeah. player on 2K? It's been a real issue in the in the gamer world. It's girlfriends <laughs> and uh, former so, girlfriends deleting yeah. guys. So apparently uh, a pro gamer uh, ex-girlfriend deleted his uh, creative player that he had built up and to a pretty high ranking. He wasn't at home. She decided to turn on the PlayStation or whatever video system he was using and delete his creative player forever. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. Forever. Well, if he's, a, if he's really a program and be smart, I'm going to say this. You should have a backup for your system. You should you have a password kind of on your thing. Yeah. yeah, you should have a... You, well, <coughs> you should just have a backed up. Like, anything that you really can't lose, you'd be like, all right, I got it to this level, I'm going to save it. And just, you know, have those things saved. But at the same time, I understand... And she is a young millennial, his girlfriend, too, so she knows how to get on there. And... Yeah, well, she was a gamer, too, but she plays, like, RPGs and stuff like that. So I was just gonna I'm just gonna point out that obviously this pro gamer is now uh, seen breaking all the rules. The gamer's name is Soul Luminati. Shout out to Soul Luminati come on our show. We'd love to talk to you about how you've rebounded. <laughs> I'm seeing him and the girlfriend anymore. You got all the time to Well no, how you rebound, <laughs> you rebound you're playing two K though, you rebounded. it. Was your player uh, had a high rebounding attribute or what, you know? <laughs> Anyways, a Soul Luminati, his girl, ex girlfriend, Ash, ex girlfriend. They weren't together anymore, but I guess they're still hanging out, still kind of keeping, uh, you know. I don't know. Obviously, she still had a key. That she, was the first problem. Here's the issue: she was in the house while he was not there. He was at the mall or the store, going to Gucci store. It was his birthday, apparently, in the video, and so she's like, "I'm gonna play a prank on him." He's he doesn't ever do anything other than just play this game. So I'm gonna delete his best player, his favorite, most you know, favorite player that he's been working on, yada yada, and prank him. Because he's at the store right now buying himself a birthday present. This fool went to Gucci store to buy himself a birthday present. Because, you know, I guess he's making some money. Or wasting it. Whatever you want to say. Come on, our show, Illuminati. Anyways, uh, so she goes on, deletes the shit, has a camera set up. She deletes it. She's like, it's gone. Boom, he comes home. It takes hell long for him to, like, sit down and, like, finally turn his game on. And he goes and turns it on. The character not there. He goes back, tries to find it. He's like, bro, where my game at? Where my player at? And she plays dumb for like 10 minutes. And he's just like tripping. He starts crying. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know the one I'm working on hella hard? That's where I made my money. Like crying. And I'm like, man, I feel kind of, I feel kind of bad for him. But I was also like laughing. And so she eventually is like, yeah, so what if I did delete it? And he's like, what? Get the fuck out. Man, My problem is, go ahead. is that this is the problem with these youngsters. Whatever happened back in the day, that's a whole nother problem right there. Whatever happened back in the day, these youngsters spend more time. I told you about this a few shows ago, maybe about a month ago, where I was at the gym and there's this dude that worked there in the corner and this like older, like professional white gentleman that's like, he was a lawyer, worked for the DA, was like talking to him. I was like, wait, did his brother get arrested or something? And then he's like, man, the whole thing gone. I was like, oh shit, maybe his house caught on fire. He was in the corner, head down, he was like, just none of us there anymore. I can't believe it. And the guy was consoling him. And I'm sitting there, I'm getting dressed, and I'm listening. This is when I was still at Club One. And I'm listening, and the dude's like, I just can't believe it, man. All my 2K, everything I put my player up to is gone now. It deleted, just gone. And I'm like, what the? <laughs> the problem is these guys spend all these hours there. What happened to grabbing a ball and going to a park and shooting some real hoops? And play some goddamn ball and get some, maybe you work some of the weed out your lungs. Do something. Go play sports. Are, are they flipping basketball players now? Because that's a thing. Like, you build a player up and you just sell them to somebody. Well, the problem is this is why the NBA is so shitty. Because none of these young fools are playing ball. And then they get, then then they all of a sudden they try yeah. to run one day yeah. and they don't know how to shoot a damn basketball. Your homie for the evening is playing 2K. <laughs> they don't know. These kids don't know how to play ball. But they know how to play You're 2K. You're only allowed to run the 3-2 zone in 2K tonight, okay? That's your homework. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And this is coming from a video game playing adult. They say, wow. Uh, and he more focused on his player than his girl. Uh, Brandon, what you guys Man, he's a professional gamer, man. He can get another girl. No, he won't. 
you know this one as I know. Just like that one professional Same gamer, too. that one professional gamer that was dating uh, what's her name, Janet Garcia, the weather girl that dumped her because he wanted to focus more on his profession. Gamer, yeah. Brandon, Man, I, Brandon, I'm gonna slap my mama for that girl. Hey, so what's crazy though is I was watching Vice News uh, when I was visiting up in Portland like a month and a half ago, and there was a uh, there's a place that's doing like gamer rehab. Wow. Now, so it's becoming like there's like they're they so they're they're diagnosing video game playing as an actual addiction, or forms of screen stimulus like video gaming and gaming as an addiction, and so I think it was acknowledged by like a, a health agency. It's been acknowledged now, so it's, it's actually got like you know paperwork behind it and, and, and definitions and forms of diagnosis are to come, I suppose. But uh, yes, yeah, so they're they're coming up with these places that are like rehab centers for people who all they do is play video games and their family is like you need to go but it's like like sixty thousand dollars a year or like ten thousand dollars a month or something crazy something crazy like that and they like basically like live in like a, this one place like a cabin on the woods they have chores they do other things they like teach them how to reread a book yeah, <laughs> it's, damn, like, damn. it's like y'all know what it's like to cook something for yourself <laughs> let's try to learn to cook <laughs> wow it's pretty it's pretty funny it's interesting so um yeah, man. Uh, I'd say uh, That's the world is changing, my friends. Mm-hmm. My my thing is, hey, brother, you broke up with her. Y'all ain't together no more. You either need to go to rehab, or she should not have access to your apartment. Got some likes. Got some likes, man. Anyway, let's, hey, uh, he got the likes. It's on his page. <laughs> so it was a collaborative effort. Man, it could have it could have been a stunt. Man, we just got we got stunted. Man, we got pregnant. So Illuminati, don't come on our show. <laughs> so, you want you want to go get hey, this house no matter re- what anyway. If you really a gamer, so Illuminati, see me in Madden 05. See what happens. I dare any gamer to see me in Madden 05. Uh, y'all got to explain to this Joaquin Noah situation. He got I don't even know what's going on. $38 million on. three days <clears throat> before the season starts. They want, they want him to go away. <laughs> they want him to I'm go. trying to think, like, so you have to pay him no matter what. It's basketball. They got to why pay him no matter what. Why not make him work the whole season? Because like, why not keep that roster spot for him? Right, because cool. they realize it's better to have someone else in that roster. Because you know what? Here's the thing. They, they probably brought him into camp, and they realize, holy shit, he can't even help us in practice. Like... We can like he's so old and broken down. We can't count on him to be a passer and, and a fucking layup drill, right? Like like it's better to have that roster spot empty with some fool off the street that can at least run up and down, do something. Like he can't guard nobody. They don't. Usually you want a big guy to guard somebody, like a big old veteran that can teach the young veterans, to, but able to play defense and move somebody. He probably can't even play defense against their sorry ass centers that the Bulls do or whoever the hell he got the hat. The problem is Joachim Noah looks like a tennis player trying to play basketball. His dad was a tennis player. I know, that's what I'm saying. French Open. He looked like a tennis player Yannick. who's trying to play basketball. You see his the way he shoots his free throws? Yeah, he shoots like, like a tennis player. He, he, yeah, like a tennis player can be like, I never played this game before. I don't know if anybody got that much money where I'm just gonna give somebody thirty eight million dollars. Not to do that. There's about five people on each team that got that much money and they not doing anything mm, during the year. Patrick McCall is getting is sitting out. Oh, that, yeah. that doesn't make it. He, he, hey, he's been watching Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon, hey, when Le'Veon Bell's trying to help football, Patrick McCall is doing the opposite. He, he saw Le'Veon Bell and said, I'm going to sit out even though I'm still on this rookie contract. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's doing because they can't, they can't even legally pay him. Right. Like, I mean... The Le'Veon Bell, they can legally work out his contract. Yeah. So he has a point there in what he's fighting for. McCall, they can't do anything. It's like his own teammates are puzzled. Like, yeah. what is he trying to do? I don't know. But whatever he's doing, they yeah, say players haven't got in touch with him since before, like, uh, August or, like, in the summer. They're busy like, now. They're busy. This is basketball. Yeah, they practice in. They, they play in. They, they building up their camaraderie. They yeah. sleeping with their uh, women on the road. They sleep on what they side. They they rolled no, wives. Nobody in the Warriors does that. Probably. Yeah, yeah. They're all, they're all uh, the you know how many you know how many female friends I have that are Warrior fans now, especially since they've been winning, who just think that that doesn't happen on the Warriors. It's like, what kind of ignorant thing are you? It's the high if you are an NBA player, you are sleeping with someone else, unless your wife is Doug Christie wife. Come and on, and she following the bus, and you got to talk to her on the phone while she's following the bus. Because she's no longer allowed on it, then you are most likely cheating. I'm like ninety percent, not ninety percent of them cheat. Ninety percent that all of them are. Ninety percent that any player that you think is not 
I'm 90% sure he is. 